Hello, rail fans, and welcome to another French Fried Trains Minecraft locomotive tutorial. Today, we're going to be building this Erie Lackawanna RS3 switcher locomotive. So let's get right into the build here. So as usual, our first step is to take a dark oak stair for the coupler, and we'll get that attached up. Underneath it, put a dark oak fence gate sideways, and also a dark oak fence gate on either side of the coupler. Then, on the next block down, we're going to put five polished blackstone stairs facing this way. Above it, a polished blackstone block in the middle. And then we're going to put two polished blackstone walls on either side. Then above that, we're going to put a row of five polished blackstone walls coming out to each side here. Then we'll swing around in front of it and we'll make a three block tall T-shaped pattern of polished black stone in the middle. Then an end rod on bottom above each rail. And in front of that, a five by three of polished black stone blocks coming out to each side of the train tracks. Then we'll do our first set of wheels. So we'll skip a block forward from this, get a netherite on each rail with an end rod axle. In front of that, we're gonna make a three by four of polished black stone in the middle and another set of netherite wheels with an end rod axle. Then open dark oak fence gates into the ends of the wheels here and also into the ends of the wheels on this end. Then we're gonna put an upside down deep slate tile stair facing this way here and facing the opposite way here. In between them on bottom, two deep slate tile slabs. We'll do the same thing here, so a stair facing this way, a stair facing this way, and two slabs right here. Then in this gap here, we're going to put three oak slabs coming up for stairs. And we'll do the same thing on this side, three oak slabs coming up this gap here. Then on the second layer, we're going to fill the top middle three with polished black stone block down the length of this truck. Come out one block past where the fence gates are here. In front of that, on bottom, we're going to switch to chiseled polished black stone and we're going to make a five by four. And we're going to fill that all in. And we're also going to do a second layer, five by four. Then on top middle here, we'll put three polished black stone and another three. On the front, put three across the bottom and extend it out one to the side so it's five wide. And we're gonna make this a five by five box. Then we'll fill the top middle three to the end of this with polished black stone block. And on these outside edges, we'll do a full row of sideways anvils for air tanks. Same thing on this side here. Then in this gap next to the anvils, put a brewing stand. And same thing on this other side. Then we'll do our next set of wheels. So come in front of this, skip a block forward, get a netherite on each rail with an end rod axle. In front of that, a three by four of polished black stone blocks in the middle. And in front of that, another set of netherite wheels with an end rod axle. Then take deep slate tile stairs upside down facing this way here, and upside down facing this way here, two deep slate tile slabs on the bottom middle between them. Repeat that pattern over here. Then we'll switch to a dark oak fence gate, open dark oak fence gates into the ends of the wheels here, and also into the ends of the wheels down here. Then on the second layer, we'll fill the top middle three with polished black stone block down the length of this truck. Stop above where these fence gates are. In front of it, we're gonna do a five by three of polished black stone block. In front of that, a T-shape in the middle with an end rod on bottom above each rail. In front of that, five polished black stone stairs coming across the bottom. Above it, a polished black stone block in the center. Two polished black stone walls on either side. Above that, 
five polished black stone walls coming across the top. Then we'll take out oak slabs and put three of them coming up this gap here on the bottom hit boxes to be stairs and three on this side for the stairs. Then we'll swing around on top above it here and on the third layer up we're going to fill the top middle three with polished black stone blocks going from end to end here. And just bring it all the way down to the other end. Just like that. Next, we're gonna come on the sides of the truck and everywhere there's a wheel, put a hopper on the side of it. Same thing, hoppers in front of these wheels. Then we'll do the other side here. Hoppers in front of these wheels. And hoppers in front of these wheels. Then on the sides of the truck above that, going from wheel to wheel, we're gonna put a full row of dark oak trap doors. Same thing here. And of course, we'll do the other side. A full row of dark oak trap doors up here. One more corner to go. Trap doors up here. And I just realized we never did the coupler on this end, so take out a dark oak stair. Get it stacked up to that second block right here. Delete the ones we used for placement. Under it, put a dark oak fence gate. And also a dark oak fence gate on either side. Then we're going to switch to yellow concrete. And on this top outside edge, on the third layer, we're going to go end to end with yellow concrete here. And of course, we'll do the same thing on the other side here. So same thing up here, end to end, with yellow concrete. Next, we're going to start working on the body of the locomotive. So come down here. The side with the chiseled polished black stone is where we'll start. This will be the short hood end. On the third block back, we're going to put a 3x3 three three of yellow concrete right here. Then, we're going to spin around here. And we're going to put four clay on each side of the bottom like this. Then a door right here. Then three red terracotta here and four red terracotta there. Then a layer of clay. And that's the short hood end. Then we're going to work on the cab, so skip to the outside edges on each side. And we're going to put a row of five clay on each side here. Then above that, a row of five red terracotta on each side. Then above that, five clay on each side. On the next layer, we're gonna put a clay in each corner, fill the middle with gray stained glass panes. Then, in each of these four spaces, we put a gray stained glass block, and then a clay on the middle of each side for the front and back windshields. Above here, we'll fill this cab roof on the middle three with clay. Then we're going to switch to an andesite stair and put five andesite stairs facing outward on this side and five facing outward on this side. And that completes the cap. Then we're going to come down to this end on the third block back from the end and make a three by three of yellow concrete. And then we're going to do a clay, red terracotta and clay on each side. Then in the middle behind that, we're going to make a three by three of bedrock. Then a three by three of iron bars on the side. Come over here and a three by three of iron bars on this side as well. Behind it on each side, we'll do a single layer of clay coming all the way up to the cab here. Then a door right here then a single layer of red terracotta coming all the way up to this vent. And then above that, a single layer of clay coming all the way back to the cab on each side. 
Then we'll come down in front of this door, put two clay here, come over on this side, and two clay in front of this door. So you can actually walk up to them here. Then there's a lot of vent detail, so put two ladders on the side in front of this door. Two ladders up here for vents. Come over to the other side. Two ladders up here. Then we'll do the long hood. Skip one block forward from the cab up here on the clay. We'll put three ladders for vent and three on the clay below it. Then we'll move forward up here. Three ladders on bottom, three on top, right by those iron bars. Repeat the pattern over here. So three here, three on bottom. Then two here, two here, two here, and one by the door. Then we're gonna come in and we're gonna grab a polish black stone button here. And we're gonna put a row of buttons across the top in between here and a row across the bottom. Come over and do the other side. Row of buttons on bottom, row of buttons on top. Next, we'll come on top here and we're gonna fill the whole top of this long hood, three wide, with andesite slabs coming from the front of it all the way up till it's touching the cap. come right over the top of this door. Then we'll do the same thing for the short hood. Fill this all in, three wide with andesite slabs until it's covered. And actually, I just realized the yellow stripe goes all the way up. So on the end here, we'll put three oak slabs. And we'll do the same thing down here. Take out these three and put three oak slabs. On top of the long hood end here, we're going to come one block back in the center and we're going to make a plus shape of andesite slabs for a fan. We're going to knock out the center and put an oak trap door in there so the fan actually has detail. Then we're going to skip a block back from this fan in the center and we're going to knock out two of the slabs in the center here. And we'll put two slabs on the next hitbox down. Then we'll put a 2x2 two two of stone brick walls for an exhaust stack, and on top, two oak trap doors. After that, we're going to come over by the cab on the opposite side here, and above this central ladder, take out this slab, put in two stone smooth slabs. Then we're going to come on top of the cab and fill it all in on three wide with andesite slabs, because this one has a unique curvature. Above the windows of the cab here, put a temporary block on the side and a sideways fence gate, delete the temporary block. That's for the horn. Come down to this end. We're gonna knock out this center block and put in red terracotta because there's a logo. Above it, put a glow item frame. And then we need to get a glowstone here. Put that in the item frame for the headlight. Then above the headlight, there's a bell. So we're gonna have to put an oak slab in the center so we can mount the bell above the headlight like this. Across here, we're gonna put five gray carpet, then three gray carpet in front of it, then one in the center in front of that. Then we'll bring our gray carpet up the sides and here's where we have to make a choice. You can have the vent details or you can take them off to have the carpet and the walkway look correct. So I'm gonna take them off here and replace everything with the gray carpet, just so everything looks cohesive here. And of course I knocked out a block, so I had to replace that real quick. Then we'll put gray carpet up here, gray carpet down this side, five across here, three across here, one on the center. Then we'll knock out this center, and we'll have to grab red terracotta again for the logo. 
put that on here. Above it, a glow item frame with a glowstone for a headlight. Then above that, an oak slab in the center with a bell. Then gray carpet up here and here. Gray carpet up this side. So same as before. I'm going to take all these vent details off. And all these buttons. And continue the gray carpet. And bring it all the way down. It's up to you if you want the vent details or the gray carpet. Now we'll do all our handrails to so take out an oak fence right here, come up by four. And then a two by two right here. Do the same thing on this side, come up by four. And a two by two up here. We'll repeat the process at the other end. So right here, come up by four. And then a two by two right here. And one more corner to go. Up four right here. And a two by two up here. Then the rest of the railings are gray, so we're gonna switch to iron bars. Come up four right here. Then come back to right here, then up one. And then over until it connects with the cap. Just like that. We'll repeat the process on this side. So here we come up four. Then we start coming over. Till it connects with the cap here. Then we'll come down and start on this end. Right here, come up four. Start bringing it all the way back along the walkway on this side of the locomotive. When we get right here, come up one, and then over until it connects. Just like that. Then we'll do the same thing on this side. Come up four right here. And start bringing it up the walkway on this side. And as you can see, I was having some trouble placing them. Just keep it coming down this side. All the way over until it connects with the cap. On the side of the cab, in the center of this red stripe, we're gonna put a crimson sign with our locomotive number, 933. Hit it with yellow dye and a glow ink sack. Come over and we'll do the same thing on this side. So in the center of the red stripe, crimson sign with 933. Hit it with yellow dye and a glow ink sack. Then come over here and to this second left hand button under it in the yellow stripe, a crimson sign with the word Erie. Skip a space and a crimson sign with the word Lackawanna. Hit both of those with yellow dye and a glow ink sack. Then we'll do the other side. So same thing on the second left hand button under it, crimson sign with the word Erie, skip a block, and another sign with the word Lackawanna. Hit both of those with yellow dye and then a glowing sack. Then we'll come up here on this top first clay block on the side. We'll put a birch sign with the locomotive number 933. Hit that with black dye and a glow ink sack. Do the same thing on this side. So a sign right here with 933. Hit it with black dye and a glow ink sack. Next, we'll do the interior. So come on in inside here. And in this short hood end, we're gonna take smooth stone slabs and fill it in up the middle here at the level of the door. At the very end of it, stack the slabs all the way up to the top. Right here, put an end portal for a toilet, and then a door. Then, we'll continue our slabs up the center here, all the way till it's in front of this door. Right here, 
will fill slabs in over that hole. Then under each window, we're gonna make a full column of slabs going from the bottom all the way up to the window. Same thing on this side. Then on the sides here, we're gonna stack the slabs up two blocks tall. Same thing over here. And we'll put one in the center here for a stair. Then we're gonna put a stair on each side to be seats. Up here, we'll put a glow item frame. On this center with a compass and a lever for the engineer. Come down here and put a torch in there so the cab's lit up. And now the interior is completed here. And there we have it, folks. We've completed this Erie and Lackawanna RS3 switcher locomotive. I hope you enjoyed the build. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone, have a great week. Stay safe out there, real fans.